This time on XT for the King, join us on an adventure up Scout Mountain, once known as Old Scab. This mountain area is rich in history, beautiful views, and adventure. Did it. Beginning our ascent from 5,500 feet on Valve House Trail, Jesse and I head towards East Fork Meat Creek Trailhead, which will climb to Scout Mountain's peak at 8,500 feet. Each turn brings us higher into fresher air and a greater sense of peace. This is a very fun trail. It's got jumps all the way down it and a lot of beautiful scenery. It kind of follows a little bit of a canyon like area all the way up to the top of the mountain. I actually can see some wildlife in here. I was here an earlier time and I saw a moose. I don't know. Bull moose. That's a little scary. Rising upwards towards Meat Creek, we reached 6,500 feet where the Boy Scouts first camped in the area in 1920. Amidst the Great Depression as a tool for employment, this area was transformed. Public campsites were constructed, and a refuge where the lush aspen trees and fir wood offered a respite from the heat below. We ride upwards, hoping for that same respite. You just stay in city limits. In the town of Pocatello, you never know this kind of stuff is here. The city just kind of looks like a mountainy desert. Wee! <laughs> I love those. Oh, little jogging team. Just barely missed them. Oh, man. Love this. Tall pine trees. I've never mentioned before that I love tall pine trees. Morning. Well, you can see that, but that's the top of Scout Mountain up there. That's where we're headed. As we ride, we're traversing ground steeped in scouting history. Originally called Old Scab, this mountain was renamed to honor its scouting legacy. In 1946, the Boy Scouts passed the Tendoy Camp, now known as Camp Taylor, to the Campfire Girls. By 1953, the Girl Scouts joined in, consolidating their presence in this historic camping area. This trail is so fun! Ah! Get out, bug! Ah, Ugh. I think he's got <laughs> a big bug of some kind flew in my helmet. This is one of my favorite spots up here. You saw a moose here? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't surprise me. Might need a smaller one to get a map. As Jesse and I pause for breakfast and minor repairs by a tranquil mountain pond, we encountered Ryan Byers, a YouTuber and drone enthusiast. 
Our chat, Ryan sparked Byers. by our mutual interest in videography and the yeah. great outdoors, revealed Ryan's talent for capturing Pocatello's landscape from above. Gratefully, we included some of his stunning drone footage in our video. For a glimpse of this region's beauty through Ryan's lens, visit his YouTube channel, Ryan Byers. Yep. We'll pass you in a second, so be careful. All right. you can't do on a mountain bike go this fast up the hill it's a lot more work to enjoy these views I've never been up that mountain before though I'd like to do that sometime the Lord, He is God. It is He who has made us, and not ourselves. We are His people, and the sheep of His pasture. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving, into His courts with praise. Be thankful to Him, and bless His name, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endures to all generations. Psalm 100, 3-5 to the top. Go slow around this. Wow. This is shifty. That's a long way down. Now at the peak, we see that Scout Mountain remains a timeless allure for adventurers of all kinds. Thank you for joining us on this adventure, and as always, God bless you all.